Hello there, I am Black Bright. For those of you who just um, visited my channel, um, I hail from the UK. Welcome, welcome to my channel. If you like what you hear, you like what I say, um, please subscribe, share and like. And thank you for inviting me into your space because that's really what I'm doing. I'm sharing your home and you're sharing mine. So I just really wanted to do a quick video because I got this video um, from a friend of mine. It's Prince Harry and he's greeting the South African Springboks rugby team after they won the World Cup and he's shoulder hugging the black guys and he's more or less just shaking hands and tapping the white guys on the hand. Now I don't know how the white guys feel about the different type of greeting whether they feel why is he being so aloof with me and he's being so warm and affectionate with the black guys because that's the way it comes over it comes over that he's really being affectionate with the black guys and with the white guys he's becoming more aloof but you have to kind of take into consideration the culture um, the white culture normally is quite stiff it is kind of shaking hands and nodding their head and how do you do, blah, blah, blah. And then the black culture is much more passionate, it's much more warm, it's much more gesticulation. And what Prince Harry is doing, he's actually emulating um, their custom and their culture. It's called mirroring. It's to make um, the other person or the recipient feel as though they're on the same wavelength, as though he's on their level, as though he understands them, he understands their culture, and it bonds. It bonds to people. When you, when you um, mirror a person, whether it's um, non-verbal body language, some people do it through eye contact, some people do it when they're yawning, some people sit the same way. They say that when you go for an interview, you know, you can be successful if you mirror the panel. Mirror there, I mean, you can't mirror all of them, but usually there's two or three, but you have something in common with all three of them, that you mirror your positioning, um, the way you dress, you mean, you can't know in advance what they dress like, but you know what I mean? It's just like making the other person feel comfortable. So that's what Prince Harry is actually doing. He's mirroring um, the culture for each person he's greeting. So let me show you it. I first thought it was an impersonation. Jordan Peele did an impersonation of Barack Obama in 2014. And I thought that's what this was. I didn't think it was really Prince Harry until I saw it in the um, Harari news newspaper, which I'm going to put the link below. And then I realised, hey, bloody hell, it's true. It really is him because they do so many copies, don't they? So, yes, it really is Prince Harry. And I'm going to show you what I mean. Um, it should be up, but it's not. Typical, isn't it? Sorry about this. If you're new to my channel, you'll know that I'm far from organised. <laughs> Ian Roberts, nice to meet you. Here, Tensio. All right, nice to meet you. Jerome Smith, come. Well, this is Jordan Peele you know? imitating <laughs> Barack Obama. You know this. Keith Williamson, nice to meet you. Mary right. Woodbury, nice to meet you. Jay Martell, nice to meet you, sir. Natasha Roberts. Come on, come oh. on, come on. <laughs> Feel that? Yes, so that kind of gives you an understanding of why he would shake hands with the white guys and give the black man hug to the black guys. I don't even know what you call that kind of salutation. I was trying to look it up. I don't know what they call it. I looked up. Black man greeting. Nothing came up. Anyway, I'm sure you get my point. Um, I just wanted to say that um, in... According to Psychologia, psychologia.com, mirroring body language is a way to bond and to build understanding. 
mirroring body language is non-verbal way to say I'm like you I feel the same so um, and they also reckon I mean in um, what's it called neurolinguistic programming they talk about mirroring other people mirroring success if you know somebody who's successful you can mirror them by either reading their books speaking with them finding out how they do things so mirroring is quite powerful so that's all um, Prince Harrow is doing it's nothing you know disingenuous it's not you know, it's, you know, the white guy's probably saying, oh, he's trying to be black. It's not trying to be black. It's just about mirroring. It's a, just a, um, a social um, technique. Social bonding. Let's call it social bonding. And that's all it is. So I hope that makes sense to you. Incidentally, um, on a totally different matter, but it is to do with Prince Harry. He's actually invested 114, is it 100, 118 million rand which is the equivalent to £6 million pounds, um, over the next five years for Zimbabwe rhino conservation. Um, he's He's been officially named Africa Parks President, and that was in December 2017. The joint venture between Africa Parks and Zim Parks gives the new investor a shareholding of 49%, with the Zimbabwe government through Zim Parks retaining 51%. Profits will be shared on a quarterly basis. Writing in the UK's Daily Telegraph a few weeks ago, after his visit to Africa, Prince Harry said, Motu Sedona is a very special place for Zimbabwe and has a lot of potential for tourism and socio-economic development. The deal was signed by Africa Park CEO Peter Fernhead and Zimbab and Zim Parks Director General Fulton Manguanya two weeks ago, on Friday the 1st of November, so literally two weeks ago. At the signing, Fernhead emphasised that his organisation works in 10 African countries and manages more than 10 million animals in 16 parks and that working in Zimbabwe would be routine. So, I hope you found that little snippet useful. Bye-bye. Oh, and I appreciate your comments.